What up, guys? This is Brian. This is the Till You Collapse podcast, and we're back. Took a break for a while. We were on a big, good run there for a while, doing it every week, and it's been busy. It's been crazy around here, but no excuses. We're going to get back on the routine every week. Really appreciate your guys' feedback, your support. As we always ask, please subscribe to the podcast, review it, share it. Let's spread this message. Let's fire people up. Let's give them free knowledge, and let's spread this mission. So today I got a fiery topic, something that's really, really, really important to being successful, something that I feel like most of you need to really listen to this message and take it to heart and take the meaning of this message and what I'm talking about. And it's something that you see me post all the time. It's something you see me talk about all the time. And I really want to describe what I mean by it because I think it will help give you guys more clarity on what it is and why you need to use it daily in all your goals and everything you're trying to achieve, okay? And what I'm going to talk about is no fucking compromise, I see you guys, you guys see me posting it. I'm going to dive more into it and why it's one of the most important things in being successful and for you holding yourself accountable and being real with yourself towards your goals. When no one's there watching you, when no one knows what you're doing, it's just you in the fucking darkness and your goals and the work. So many of you guys, so many people out there want to compromise their morals, their ethics, their promises to themselves to get ahead. They think that it's going to, if they take, if they, if they, you know, you set a goal, you tell yourself you're going to do something and then down the road, you compromise that. You think something's going to help you get there quicker. You think something's going to make it easier. It's not easy. There's no way to make shit easier. If you're looking for the easy way out by compromising your promise to yourself, you've already lost. Think about it. How is anything successful going to come from you compromising your promise to yourself, looking for a fucking easier way or a shortcut? You guys see me doing it. 5 a.m. on the stairs, 11 p.m. on the stairs. I've lost 40 pounds in three months. I'm pushing even harder and farther. You think I like doing that shit? I fucking hate it. But I told myself, I'm going to get myself in the shape of my life. I know it's going to take this many cardio sessions a day. On Father's Day, I had five shots of tequila and I ate a shitload of food. And I got on the stairs at 10.30 p.m. after all of that and did the fucking stairs. And I posted it so you guys could see it. That's no compromise. Most people, A... Oh, it's Father's Day. I'm a dad. Today's the day for me to kick my feet up and not do shit. Let me compromise my goals right there. Oh, let me get fucking faded and eat a bunch of food and not do an ounce of work today. You're compromising your goals right there. That's not going to cause you to win. You're not going to be a winner. You're not going to be successful. You're not going to reach your goals. My ass got on the stairs, buzzed, and I sweat that shit out. That's no compromise. Another example, one of my brothers, someone actually I coached, if he's listening to this, he'll know because this was actually a really monumental turning point. I feel like when we coached and his, his growth, this guy has grown so much over the last five, six months. He's a fucking killer. I'm so proud of him. He gives back. Hopefully he listens to us and he knows who he is. This is just an example of no compromise. And I think he had a turning point because I really, it hit him hard our conversation over this. I'm going to share it with you because it's a story and I want you to listen to this. So we were away at a um, convention and he's in a similar group I am and I coached him in one of my coaching programs I offer and he's doing amazing. He's got a lot out of it. Um, And we set an appointment at 6 a.m. to work out together. And we all went out the night before. We had dinner. We fucking drank. We drank a lot. We were out late, out late, and I think we all, like the time from when we went to bed and we got in to when we were supposed to work out, which was 6 a.m., was like four or five hours of sleep, so not that much sleep, and we were pretty shit-faced, to tell you the truth. We were drunk, drank, had a good time. Um, I got up with no compromise, hungover, tired. I went to that workout. He didn't meet me there. 
I gave him so much shit over it, but we had breakfast afterwards and we had a very serious talk and we talked about no compromise. And I said the difference between us, because this guy's a killer, he's very successful, just as successful as me, if not more successful. But I said, he's trying to get to the next level and it's really the mindset and these little things like this that will cause you to get there. That's why I'm sharing this with you guys. And we had a conversation. I told him, this is the difference between me and you. This is going to hold you back. And this is why I will get further if you don't change your fucking shit right now. There's no compromise. I don't care if I drink. I don't care if I, I don't care if I sleep one hour. I don't care if fucking there's a tornado outside. I will do the work that I promised myself that I know I need to do that it's going to take to get to my goal, hell or high water with no compromise. So that's why I woke up. That's why I hung over. I worked out and you didn't. You compromised. And I saw a light go off in his head. He put the connection right there. And ever since then, he's been killing it. And, and I see him leading the way. I hope you listen to this. I'm sharing our story because it has to do with the message. And I, and I love what you're doing, man. But that's what I'm talking about, guys. And it's here's the thing. It's the little things that kill you. You guys think these little things you compromise on, things that really, they're fucking little. They're minute. But the problem is when you compromise on these little details, like, oh, I'll push it back half a day. I'll push it back a day. I'll do it two hours later. I'll do 10 less minutes. I told myself I'm going to do 30 minutes on the stairs. I'm going to do 20 minutes this time. Those little compromises, even if they're half compromises, you're doing the work, but you're not doing the full work that you said you would do to yourself. It's letting that feeling and that compromise slide in and you're, 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 you're starting that habit and you're starting that process and that little, those little compromises will turn into big compromises. So guys, the message is fucking clear. There's no compromise and you know, if you're compromising yourself, you know, if you're cutting it short, it's on you to hold yourself accountable. I can't hold you accountable. They can't hold you accountable. It's on us to hold ourselves accountable. And I'm telling you, if you want to reach these high levels of success, if you want to reach your goals, this is one thing you're going to have to buckle down on. And I'm talking about in every area, your meetings, your dates with your wife, your promises to your kids, your promises to your employees. It's not just the fucking stairs. It's everything in life. There's no compromise. When you tell yourself something, you stick to your word and you do the work that it takes. And that's the message for today. It's very clear. It's very powerful and it's very direct. Listen to that shit. Think about it and start applying it from today every single day and see how shit starts to change from you, for you. Really appreciate you guys. Really love you guys. Please share the podcast. I'm trying to grow this shit. I'm out.